Hello there. This is the family doctor. I'll be right there just as soon as I put uh, finish putting these bandages away. Well, go ahead. I just wanted to know if you delivered that thermometer to Dr. Adams. Oh, sure, about half an hour ago. Okie dokie. Did he pay you for it? No, sir. He, he just had to put it on the books. Uh-huh. That's just what I'm a-doing. Mm-hmm. This darn pinpoint, I'd best get a new one pretty soon. Been using this one for a couple of months now. You, uh, mm-hmm. you're going over to the... Are you going over to the community club tonight, Mr. May? Well, I don't know. Been a-thinking about it, but ain't made up my mind yet. Ain't never been too good about learning a part in amateur theatricals since my whiskers burned up one time. <laughs> your your whiskers? Yes, yeah, so I, I was Santa Claus a couple of Christmases ago down to the Union Church. Got too close to a candle and up they went. Uh, the whiskers, I mean. Well, <laughs> what's that got to do with your learning a part? Well, I'll tell you. You see, Chick, every time I start to play act... I get thinking about them whiskers, and my mind just don't seem to function. Oh, I see. Yes. The next time I had a part, all I had to do was to come running in onto the platform and yell, Hold! Hold! What do you think I said? Well, I don't know. What? Well, sir, I come running in all right, but when I got there and seen all them lights and people and all, and instead of saying, Hold! Hold! I yells, Fire! Fire! And you ain't never seen such a commotion as occurred at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. I guess I ain't just put together right to be a acting fella. Take, for instance, that new drama teacher in town, Theodosia Malloy. Say, she's good, isn't she? Sure thing you know. It was awful nice of her to come and stay in Cedarton and help the folks at the club put on this entertainment. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, um, if you don't mind, Mr. May, I'd kind of... Uh... <laughs> Well, well, I'd like to... You mean uh, you'd like to go down to the community club and try out for one of the parts? Well, yes, sir, I, I would. Okie dokie, chick. It's all right with me. And if you want me to take over for you sometimes, you just let me know. Oh, hello, Dr. Adams. Pete May, what do you mean by this? Is this your idea of a practical joke? Huh? Why, what's the trouble, Doc? Look at this. I phoned down to you to send me up a thermometer, and, and look what you sent me. Huh? <laughs> well, that's a good one, Doc. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, isn't it? You ought to know a doctor wouldn't have any use for this gadget. What I wanted was a clinical thermometer. What's this? How would I get this thing into a patient's mouth? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Doc. Oh, no, it was my fault, Dr. Adams. And... Your fault, Chick? How? Well, no, I should have told you, Chick. It was my fault. Will you two stop apologizing to each other and tell me what this is all about? I just told Chick to take a thermometer up to your office, Doc, and... That's his idea of a thermometer. Well, it, was, it, was the, it, was, it was the only one I saw. Well, that's all right, my boy. Don't worry about it. Here, Doc, I'll get you a clinical right away. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Chick, if I got you into trouble. I thought... Here people... you are, Doc. Okay. Brand spanking new. All right. Thanks. But what's this gadget? Oh, that? Well, that's a thermometer to go on a gas stove. Just stocked them yesterday. On a gas stove? In a drugstore? Well, you see, Doc... Yes, uh... Pete, I see all right. Only you better not let Rip Bliss see these. <laughs> He'll raise Ned for you selling what he should be selling in his hardware store. Oh, morning, 
morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh, A package of throat lozenges, uh, Pete. Throat lozenges? Okie dokie. Here you are, Maddie. Well, what's the matter, Maddie? Sore throat? Oh, no, but I might have one later. Oh? Uh-huh. Yes, you see, uh, Miss Malloy says I can try out for the leading part in the community club play. Oh, ain't it thrilling? What? You? <laughs> well, uh, that's fine, Maddie. Good luck. And I want you all to come to the club tonight. Miss Malloy says she knows that I'm going to be just dandy. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome to well, I guess i better hurry along now. I've got a dress to finish for Miss Windsor, and then I... Got to rest all afternoon getting ready for tonight, you know. Ah. Well, um, good night, good night, Parton. Is that sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow? <laughs> That's from the balcony scene. <laughs> well, see you all later. Well, I'll be. <laughs> say, Doc. I've got an ID. Yeah? What? You know, Matty Clark's been sweet on Hank Hazen for about ten years now. Yes, well... And Hank ain't never give her a tumble. Mm -hmm, That's right. Well, don't you see? We'll get Miss Malloy to make Hank and Matty try out together. We'll get her to have Hank make love to Matty right up there on that platform in front of all those people. (laughs) Gee, yeah. Say, that's well. Now, Pete, you don't want to do it. Yes, sir, that's just what I'm going to do. (laughs) We, I had so much fun since the winter's stable burnt down. All right. Now, I know that you people haven't had a great deal of experience in the theatre, but I'm sure that if we'll all bear with each other, we'll get along nicely and select a fine cast to present this splendid play. Thank you. Now, you've all had a chance to look over your scripts, and we might as well start right in. Miss Clark, Matty Clark. (laughs) Here I am, Miss Malloy, all rested and everything for the ordeal. (laughs) Well, I I don't think it's going to be too much of an ordeal, Miss Clark. Uh, You've uh, looked over your part, have you? Oh, I should say. I ain't done anything else for the last three days except make a dress for Miss Windsor. Oh, yes, of course. Now, in this scene, I'd like to have Mr. Hazen play the part opposite Miss Clark. Hank? Oh, oh my goodness. Is Mr. Hazen here? (laughs) Yep, yep, I'm here all right. Pete May told me you wanted to see me. Yes, oh yes, Mr. May. Uh, now, Mr. Hazen, here's your part. Now, the idea is this. You've been away to the wars. Mm, what wars? The, uh, the well, uh, I don't know, just a war of some kind. And you come back expecting to find the young girl you left behind you waiting, waiting expectantly for your return. You understand? Mm-hmm, yep. I get it. <laughs> yes, all right. Uh, now, uh, turn out the house lights. All right, go ahead, you two. Well, go ahead. You start first, Hank. Hmm? Oh, sure. Uh, Yes, the same apple blossoms, the same river, the same rock, the same moon. But where's the gal? Uh, girl, Mr. Hazen, not gal. Oh, oh, sure. (laughs) But where's the girl? Here I am, Delmar. It is I, little Lottie, the same sweet uh, girl you left here in this... Apple orchard many long years ago. <laughs> oh, Lottie. Uh, uh, just a moment, Mr. Hazen. You, uh, you're not disappointed at seeing her. No. This is the girl you've been longing to meet again ever since you went away. Oh. Read that line, please, with more tenderness. The epitome of the, uh, well, try it again. Uh, something like this. Ah, oh, Lottie. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hazen, try it. Ah, Lottie. That's better, that's better. Now, you take her in your arms. Oh, oh, just a minute, Mr. Hazen. Have you ever had a girl in your arms before? Well, sure. (laughs) Why not? Mm, Yes, but Miss Clark isn't a sack of barley. She's the girl you've been waiting to hold, to clutch to your manly breast. But with tenderness, Mr. Hazen, with love. Yeah. Okay, like this, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, that's better. Now, now go ahead with your line. To think we meet again, Lottie. Come, let us sit on yonder rock. They sit... Uh, no, no, huh? Mr. Hazen. Uh, that's a stage direction. That means that you take the girl over to the rock and sit down. What rock? Uh, Mr. Hazen, have you ever been on the stage before? 
Have you ever done a part in a play before? Well, no, I ain't. Have you, Miss Clark? Well, no, but well, I... I'm awfully sorry, folks. But I'm very much afraid I'm going to have to find a couple of people to do these two parts who have had some little experience. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, don't you? Yes, well, sure. All, all right, right and thank know. you for coming over. Some other time, perhaps. Uh, Miss Bliss. Ella Mary Bliss. Yes. And Mr. Harper, Chick Harper. Yes, yes. You try these parts, if you will. <laughs> Hank Hayes, and how could you? Huh? Why, what's the trouble? I did my best, didn't I? You knew you couldn't act. If I could have had somebody who knew what they was doing, I, I could have done better myself. Oh, Maddie, you shouldn't take on so. Take on? Hank Hayes, and you could take me right home. Oh, gosh, a man ain't never right. May. Gosh, to Friday. You shouldn't laugh at poor Maddie. <laughs> poor Maddie. <laughs> Golly sakes, Doc, I ain't seen nothing so funny. Since the Windsor stable burned down. Yes, I know. I must say you've got a distorted <laughs> sense of humor, Pete. Oh, come on now, Doc. Maddie will get over it. Well, I don't know, Pete. Maddie isn't as young as she used to be. And hey, besides, Doc, huh? there's an automobile up ahead of us there. Looks like it's stalled. Hmm, yes. I wonder who it is. Hey, Doc, it's Hank Hazen's automobile. It is? Yes, yeah, sure as shooting. Yep, that's who it is. Slow down, Doc. Maybe they're in trouble. Say, Maddie's with them. Let's see if they need help. Hello, folks. Oh. Any trouble? Oh, oh, uh, oh uh, hello, Pete. Uh, uh, hello, Doc. Uh, didn't expect to find you out here on this road. Well, uh, Pete was just uh, making a call with me. Hope we, uh, well, I hope we didn't disturb you. <laughs> Pete, hush up. <laughs> well, I uh, reckon you're sort of, uh, well, now, surprised to see me and Matty out here. Uh, well, sort of sparking like, ain't you, huh? Well, a little, yeah. Well, tell the truth, I'm kind of surprised myself, but, uh, Maddie, she was feeling so bad about the play and all. Well, that's all right, Hank. You better. Come along, Pete. Oh, just a minute, Doc. Say, Hank, how come you were such a mess up there on that stage tonight, but you're sure doing all right now? Oh, Pete, How May. come, Hank? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I guess when I do my sparking, uh, I just don't like an audience. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 